All right, well, what we're working on here is 99 Chevrolet Tahoe, the Z71 four wheel drive. And these valve covers, this is the driver's side valve covers looking really nasty. Probably leaking from multiple places. O ring in the cap, possible here too. And this passenger side one looked the same. I washed it off. Probably getting most of the oil looking leaking from there on the inside. So this sucker's got 255,000 miles. The inside looks really good. That's what it looks like on the inside there. Now for that many miles, that looks really good. I'm quite surprised. Anyway, when you take these valve covers off, you know you need to you need to remove this the air box goes here and unplug all these guys and, and it's got four bolts in there 10 millimeter and I use 10 millimeter I have this little 10 millimeter impact here that I use and sometimes it gets stuck on the bolts so don't be surprised if these bolts here get stuck on your socket I don't know why they do they always do it. it's just a little bit in between sizes it may be standard I didn't try it that may be the, the situation so anyway, take the bolts out, remove the valve cover. This little bracket here, there's two bolts that hold that back there. Two nuts you take out, and then it loosens the bracket. And you release this clamp, and there's another clamp over there you release so you can move this harness around to get this, get that valve cover out. It's pretty tight. It's gonna be worse going back in trying to keep that gasket on. Now, here's the other side. The other side looks pretty good too. To get this side off, you remove the wire that goes across the valve cover for the temperature sending unit. It fits into the block right here. All right, not much else to do. You get the PVC valve and rotate it up and shake it, make sure it's loose. This uh, bracket on the front of the engine that holds the AC compressor needs to come out. You can see there's a crack here where I've pulled it out a little ways. It has several bolts in the front. Some of them are studs, the 14 millimeter. There's three across here. There's one down there in the corner you can't see from the top. I might be able to zoom in on it. Anyway, there's one that goes there in that corner there. There's a bolt right there that's loosened up and you see how the bracket, how this bracket is slipped away from it. Yep, there it is. See how it slipped out, it's got a slot in it. Easy, just loosen it up. You have to take the belt off, so I just use a 3 8 drive, long, long ratchet wrench like this to get that belt off and that's, that's all there is to it pretty easy out. I would suggest get going from the bottom and getting those two bolts that are on the bottom of this from the bottom. Uh, and when you go back together it's got studs, okay? Oh, one of those is a stud. Can't see it now, but can't see it now. But anyway, it'll it'll sit there on the stud, not fall over or anything. You'll have to click this, uh, uh, the gas pedal cable out of the way because it's short and you don't want to break anything so you just unclip this little clip here and let it sit here and that way it doesn't get too tight and break anything but it'll be a little tight on it right here but you don't need much okay this is good enough you want more fine you can undo those you can take this bracket off get lots of space if that's what you need so anyway that's how it works that's what you got to do to get the valve covers off We'll get this little guy cleaned up and put back together. All right, have a good day. All right, so this is what it looks like from the bottom. Got this bolt. There we go. Got this bolt here. Okay. And then there's another bolt that goes here. Let's see if you can see that. I'm touching my finger. That one there. It's got a slot in it, but that's not really required for this deal. Just need to loosen the bolt up. In this case here on this car, this nut that was here was missing. 
and I didn't even have to take it off. Otherwise, it would still be there because you don't really need to take it off. But uh, these are the old cooler lines that got replaced. Had these done at the local hydraulic shop with nice air equip hoses. And just a quick glance, let's see here. You can see part of that blue gasket there. I placed the pan gasket, cleaned everything up, added a drain plug on the oil pan, cleaned everything up. That's the oil filter housing. I had to get some AC uh, washers for this to, to seal these because so it has sealing washers with rubber gaskets in there. That was interesting. And that's about it for now. All right.